Say here. Today we're going to talk about Enterprise Digital Learning Modernization, or EDLM. EDLM is one of a dozen reform efforts undertaken by the Pentagon in response to Executive Order 13781, which directed all federal agencies to look for ways to improve their efficiency and effectiveness. DOD identified nine areas of reform, including for its IT and business systems, and one of the sub-areas under it was for learning management systems. In July 2018, the Pentagon's Reform Management Group, a body of the most senior leaders from across the department, approved this reform. In a nutshell, it has two main goals. First, be more efficient in how we acquire and maintain digital learning systems. And second, implement our digital learning more effectively by moving to an enterprise learning ecosystem model. Before we jump into it, let's cover a few definitions. First, this reform is about the enterprise. That means Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, Space Force, the Joint Staff, Combatant Commands, the Fourth Estate, that's defense jargon for the other components like Defense Logistics Agency or Defense Health Agency. It also means military personnel, civilians, the defense intel and security community, everyone. Next is digital learning. That refers to any training or education technology that uses a network in some way, including for design, development, delivery, and assessment applications. Examples are e-learning software, like learning management systems, question banks, mobile learning applications, and learning record stores. And for the sake of this reform, we're talking about unclassified systems. There's a perfect storm of reasons encouraging us to modernize. From a business perspective, the ways DOD purchases and manages its digital learning systems leaves room for improvement. An internal review in 2015 by the DOD Deputy Chief Management Officer found DOD spends 870% more per full-time employee on HR management, which includes digital learning systems, than the next costliest commercial entity. From a tech perspective, new learning delivery platforms, AI, and other data-centric capabilities have created opportunities to improve training and education outcomes, and ultimately to impact DOD's personnel readiness. But to realize those much desired benefits, we'll need to upgrade our systems, and not just incrementally, but to a whole new model, a learning ecosystem model. Finally, from a policy perspective, this reform ticks a lot of the boxes. For the training and education community, it helps us implement DOD's digital modernization strategy, DOD's data strategy, and the Personnel and Readiness Strategic Plan. It also pursues all three lines of effort from the President's management agenda. That would be IT modernization, data accountability and transparency, and enabling a 21st century workforce. The paper outlines a lot of the history that led up to this reform, including how DOD settled on these desired outcomes. But for the sake of the video, let me just focus on the wave tops. As I mentioned earlier, EDLM can really be described in two broad strokes. First, acquire and maintain digital learning products and services more efficiently. And second, build an enterprise learning ecosystem. You can break that second goal down into the systems, in other words, the enterprise architecture, and the stuff within the systems, the data. For those of you familiar with the Advanced Distributed Learning Initiative, you might recognize this as equivalent to the total learning architecture, but the reform doesn't really focus on those kind of brand names. It does, however, target two more narrow enterprise applications to help corral the systems and data. First, an enterprise course catalog, and second, an enterprise learner record repository. Oh, and from a management perspective, these are the three named lines of effort under EDLM. Let's dive into these lines of effort in more detail. The first is to streamline and centralize the acquisition of new education and training capabilities through the Office of Personnel Management's USA Learning Program. It provides shared services for contracting, licensing, and hosting of digital learning. Technically, all of that is called category management because it lets DOD manage a whole category of products and services together. And it's directed by this memo from the Office of Management and Budget. Category management is pretty important because Today, we're not entirely sure how much we're spending on digital learning products and services. That's because those purchases are spread out across thousands of programs and hundreds of different contracts. Our best estimates put it at about $500 million a year for the DOD. 
In addition to transparency, category management gets us better buying power. So we can do things like have enterprise-wide licenses, and it helps us eliminate duplications. DOD personnel can go to this website, projects.usalearning.net, to learn more. You can also submit your applications for new acquisition requirements. Just log in with your military or government email address and submit a request. Let me clarify a few misconceptions that we often hear related to USA Learning. First, you can acquire any product or service that you need from them, so long as it's within the categorical scope. You don't have to pick from a set list of vendors or applications. And second, while USC Learning does offer some shared services, you're not required to use those. In other words, you're not handing over all of your digital learning management to OPM. Let's move on to lines of effort two and three now. But first, what the heck is a learning ecosystem? Learning ecosystem is jargon that refers to a system of learning systems that are interconnected, like Lego blocks, through common data standards, software specifications, and other business rules. You might hear it called something like a continuum of learning or a learning data fabric. The point is that it lets us treat learning systems or each learning experience like a node within the system and also manage in aggregate at the organizational level. So the learning ecosystem is all about data and interconnected systems. Got it? Because it's gonna get a little complicated now. Let's dive into the Enterprise Course Catalog. Today in DOD, we have hundreds of course catalogs all over the place. They may be in the form of spreadsheets or PDFs or actual databases. What we need to do is be able to unlock the data from all of those different locations but still have it be managed at the local level. So we need some way to crawl through those different disparate data sources and harmonize the data into a common standard, then expose those data through an application programming interface. We need some way to be able to make sense of those data though. We need to have a common currency so that when one organization talks about leadership and another organization talks about leadership we know whether it's an apples to apples comparison. Similarly, we need to be able to expose all of those data into a common index, and we need some way to find all of those different entities that are scattered across DOD. Finally, we need to expose the data in a very usable form so that end users, whether those be learners or administrators or commanders, can go to one portal to find all of the information they need, a sort of one-stop shop or a search engine across all of the existing data sources that are still managed locally. And ideally, at the end of the day, we want them to be able to press one button and get to that course through a single sign-on or other kind of authentication. You can learn more about the Enterprise Course Catalog project on our website, adlnet.gov. This project is well underway. Go here to learn more about how the specifications are being implemented and potentially how you can get involved. You can also see detailed screen captures, diagrams, and data standards related to the pre-alpha prototype. We're anticipating testing with Real DoD personnel in FY21. Finally, the last line of effort is the Enterprise Learner Record Repository. This is the idea that we want to have all of the learner performance data accessible across the entire enterprise. Think of it like this. You have a variety of training and education technologies, whether that be a digital grade book, a simulator, an e-learning course. All of those things produce data. Ideally, they should be producing good quality performance data. And then ideally, we want those data to be pushed out to at least a local level. That goes into a transactional learning record store. Yes, that is part of the XAPI or the Experience Application Programming Interface specification. So you get these data at those local levels, but they're probably going to be more detailed than what you need. So then we need to filter and transform those data up to an organizational level. We do that through a common master object model. Then those organizational learning record stores can push the data up into a data fabric accessible across the enterprise and transformed to support that 
identity management, and that common currency for semantic interoperability that we talked about earlier related to the Common Course Catalog. Finally, we need to have a portal, some way for stakeholders, whether that be learners themselves, commanders, instructors, or other uh, organizational leaders, where they can access all of this information. Again, visit our website to learn more about the status of this project and the specific specifications that are going into it. So there you have it. DOD is modernizing the way that we do digital learning. First, we're buying and sustaining things differently through category management and through a partnership with the Office of Personnel Management's USA Learning Program. Second, we're making things differently. We're moving from the industrial age to the information age of learning and embracing the learning ecosystem concept. For DOD personnel or interested vendors, make sure that you check out the Defense Instruction 1322.26 for the latest policy on the relevant specifications and standards necessary to make the learning ecosystem work. Finally, I'd like to highlight the co-authors on this paper. First, Kelly Sims. She's now retired, but she was the program manager for EDLM out of the chief management office in the Pentagon. In addition to myself from the ADL initiative, Dr. Van Brewer is supporting this project. From the DOD civilian side, Amy Rogers, the Defense Civilian Chief Learning Officer, is actively supporting this project, and so is Sharon McMahon. She's representing the Defense Intelligence side out of the Defense Intel and Security Human Capital Management Office. This truly is an enterprise-wide initiative with military, civilian, intel, and DOD business systems all represented. 